Let's take a journey back to the beginning of time. The period called the beginning of time captures the fundamental processes from which planets, including our home Earth, grew. 4.6 billion years ago, in a remote corner of the galaxy, an incredible symphony of cosmic forces began, resulting in the formation of our solar system. At the center of it all began with a giant cloud of gas and dust called a molecular cloud. Under the influence of various forces, from wave impacts from supernovae to gravitational waves, the cloud began to shrink, resulting in the formation of a protostar. The protostar, which became the center of our future system, began to emit light and heat, heating us the material around it. An accretion disk formed around the protostar where small dust and rock particles began to collide and combine. From these collisions and unifications, protoplanets, masses that attracted other particles to them and grew as material accumulated, were born. The process of protoplanets coming together led to the formation of planets. Within the accretion disk, planetesimals formed and eventually merged to form planets. Finally, the Earth appeared on this cosmic stage. About 4.5 billion years ago, the process of Earth's formation involved protoplanet collisions, the formation of the core, mantle and crust, and the bombardment of the surface by meteorites. This was a period of intense volcanic activity and asteroid impacts forming the surface and atmosphere. During this ancient time, despite hostile conditions, life may have originated. This is where the intricate scenarios of rapid climate change and the primary formation of the oceans took place. During this period, on the soils of the early Earth, molecules woven from carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements in took the form of living things. There was an active development of organisms, including the appearance of the first multicellular creatures. During this period, the first seas are born, and many species of life, including early fish and the first plants, appear to populate the land. The Paleozoic era ends with the Permian period with a major mass extinction. After the catastrophe that ended the Paleozoic era, early reptiles and the first dinosaurs appeared, marking the next stage in the development of the biosphere. This was the golden age of the dinosaurs, a time when these huge lizards reigned on Earth. From as small as Compsognaths to giants like Brachiosaurs and Tyrannosaurs, dinosaurs filled the planet's ecosystems, completing their mesmerizing structure and dominance in this million-year period. The breakup of continents and the formation of the modern oceans occurred during this time. The era ended with a mass extinction known as the Cride Period. Possible causes include asteroid impact and volcanic activity that caused global changes in climate and environment. Finally, modernity. This is the time when the diversity of life, including mammals and, of course, Homo sapiens, blossomed. Here we find traces of primitive humans, the development of civilizations, the Industrial Revolution, and the challenges of modernity. The evolutionary scene has passed the baton to mammals. These small creatures, originally in the shadow of giants, became the main characters of the new era of our planet. From small rodents to huge megafauna, they occupied various ecological niches. Mammals continued their evolution. Great mammals such as mammoths and saber-toothed tigers flourished. The emergence of primates was a significant event, and their adaptations to trees made them successful forest dwellers. The appearance of the first ludopodal apes, such as Australopithecus, provided a bridge between animals and Homo sapiens. Our beginnings were humble, crooked spines, massive jaws, and mysterious traces of walking across the vastness of the African plains. Yet despite their initial primitiveness, the first humans possessed an ineffable resilience and ingenuity. One of the first tools 
Stone knives, created by extraordinarily inventive hands, open new horizons in the field of food extraction and interaction with the world around them. Serrated arrowheads, wood spears, and hard stone axes became an extension of the anatomy of the first humans, giving them the power to transform nature in their own image. The first humans, as living artifacts of nature, responded to all challenges by shaping their customs, skills, and lifestyles in response to the demands of the external environment. Ancient Precambrian humans, including Homo habilis and Homo erectus, embodied the next stage of evolution. Homo habilis, literally skillful man, deserves its name for its ingenuity in tool making. With these early ancestors, whose appearance dates back some 2.4 million years ago, our species gained the ability to transform the world around us. Using stone tools such as spear points and scrapers, Homo habilis mastered and transformed natural resources to their advantage. The next actor on the historical stage, Homo erectus, towered above his predecessors literally and figuratively. With an appearance some 1.9 million years ago, these ancient explorers were the first to leave the continent of Africa and travel the wide expanse of the planet. One of the important differences between Homo erectus was their more complex cultural evolution. They created more advanced tools, mastered fire, and probably developed primary forms of social organization. Their physical slenderness and vigor made them ideal explorers of new territories, and their adaptive abilities became a bridge between ancient times and the future development of our species. The next act in the theater of human evolution is Homo sapiens, literally intelligent man, a species that was the culmination of millions of years of nature's creativity. In this evolutionary symphony, Homo sapiens makes a striking contribution, asserting its place in history as the dominant species of the planet. The period when Homo sapiens first entered the historical arena goes back into the depths of time some 300,000 years ago. The traits that set us apart range from our highly developed brains and anatomy to our social organization and ability to create. One of the key differences between Homo sapiens was our increased brain volume, which became a kind of mind engine. We had sophisticated intellectual abilities that allowed us to adapt to diverse environments, solve complex problems, and create complex socio-cultural structures. With the emergence of Homo sapiens, a new era of cultural evolution began. Our capacity for creativity and abstract thinking inspired the creation of art, music, and instruments. The first engravings on cave walls were not only evidence of cultural expressions, but also proof of our rapid evolution from hunting and gathering to complex forms of social life. The social organization of Homo sapiens became increasingly complex and multi-leveled. From small groups of hunter-gatherers to diverse societies with hierarchies and religious beliefs, Homo sapiens created a fabric of culture that has become an integral part of our existence. One of the first civilizations among the sand dunes of the Nile was ancient Egypt. The Nile Valley became the malleable creator of this civilization, providing not only fertile soils, but also unpredictable but regular floods that became the basis for Egyptian rural life. The spirit of ancient Egypt is imbued with mysticism and a belief in immortality. Their religious beliefs were reflected in a complex mythology where gods and pharaohs played a central role in society. Beliefs in the afterlife, mummification and veneration of the gods became an integral part of Egyptian culture. Ancient Egypt was renowned for its magnificent art and majestic architecture. The pyramids of Giza, the greatest engineering marvels of antiquity stand as eternal witnesses to the technological prowess and cultural splendor of Egyptian builders. 
Murals, sculptures, and temples also reveal to us the splendor of the art of the time, reflecting the importance of religious and cultural aspects. Egypt developed its hieroglyphic system, a unique way of writing that combined ideographic and phonetic elements. This ensured the preservation and transmission of knowledge through the ages. Thanks to this system, the Egyptians created not only literary works, but also kept scientific records, including medical and astronomical knowledge. Also, between two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, stretches the ancient country of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization and the place where the first ideas of social organization were born. This unique corner of the world played a crucial role in the formation of cultures and societies that have become the starting point for many aspects of our history. Mesopotamia, meaning the land between the rivers, was the stage for the development of ancient civilizations. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers provided not only fertile soil, but also served as a source of water for irrigation, creating favorable conditions for agriculture and the development of extensive infrastructure. The first forms of writing created by the Sumerians, explorers and scholars of their time originated in this land. The system of cuneiform writing carved on clay tablets became a bridge connecting the past and the future. The first laws codified by Hammurabi originated here, influencing the concept of justice and legality right up to the present day. After that, a civilization emerged that became a shining light for generations to come, the ancient Greek civilization. Greece offered the world not only philosophy and art, but also a special way of life, which became famous as one of the pinnacle moments in human history. Greece, consisting of numerous polis, city-states, was located on the Balkan Peninsula. Its geographical location formed a unique blend of climate, mountains and seas, inspiring the Greeks to create an outstanding culture. Greek polities such as Athens, Sparta and Corinth served as catalysts for social and political innovation. Here, the idea of democracy was born, calling for citizen participation in government. Athenian democracy became not only a model for organizing political power, but also a breeding ground for the development of philosophy and art. Ancient Greek thought flourished in the light of reason and rationalism. Philosophers such as Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle became the architects of basic ideas about the nature of the world, man, and society. The Greeks also contributed to the development of mathematics, astronomy, and medicine, rising to the pinnacles of scientific knowledge of their time. Ancient Greek art and architecture became a visual expression of harmony and beauty. Sculpture such as the Discobolus and the Venus of Milos and the Doric, Ionic and Corinthian pillars in architecture nevertheless continue to inspire the world with their aesthetics and grandeur. The Greeks paid tribute to creativity and physicality. Theatrical productions such as tragedies and comedies reflected deep aspects of the human soul. The Olympic Games came to symbolize athletic excellence and the unification of the Greek polities in holy competition. After ancient Greece, Macedonia emerged as a state in northern Greece in the 7th century BC. The ancient Macedonians were an ancient Greek people who inhabited the northern part of Greece. By the end of the 7th century BC, Macedonia had become a kingdom. One of the most famous Macedonian rulers of this time was Philip II, the father of Alexander the Great. Philip united Macedonian cities and built up a powerful army, paving the way for further conquests. Alexander III of Macedon, better known as Alexander the Great, was born in Pella, the capital of Macedonia, in 356 BC. After the death of his father, Philip II, in 336 BC, Alexander became king of Macedonia. He set about conquering a vast empire, including Persia, Egypt, Mesopotamia, and on into East Asia. 
During his conquests, Alexander founded cities that were named Alexandria in his honor. These cities became centers of culture, commerce, and administrative affairs in his empire. Under the influence of Alexander the Great, there was a cultural exchange between the Greeks and the peoples with whom he interacted. This period in history is known as the Age of Hellenism, during which Greek culture and art mixed with the traditions of the Eastern peoples. Alexander contributed to the development of the system of statehood by creating administrative structures to run the vast empire. He also introduced some elements of Persian power organization. Alexander expanded trade links between East and West, stimulating economic development in conquered areas. This process also facilitated the exchange of technology, ideas, and cultural traditions. Macedonia became a province of the Roman Republic in 146 BC, after the end of the Roman-Macedonian Wars. Later, in 27 BC, Macedonia became part of the Roman Empire. During the Roman period, the region experienced significant changes in architecture, culture, and economy. Between the hills of the Seaman Peninsula and the Tiber River, an empire of legend, ancient Rome, erupted. The great heir of Greek and ancient European cultures, the Roman world embodied the ideas of greatness, justice, and the pursuit of eternity. The birth of the Roman Republic was a form of representative government where citizens elected their representatives. However, over time, with civil wars and internal conflicts, the Republic gave way to the Empire. In the first century BC, the Roman Empire reaches its heyday. During this time, personalities such as Caesar and Octavian Augustus are born. Situated on seven hills, Rome became the cradle of a mighty empire. However, its initial steps were modest, from pastoral settlements to a strategically important city controlling the Tiber. Rome was a primordial military state whose legions, led by ambitious warlords, conquered worlds and built bridges to greatness. Under the rule of emperors such as Augustus and Trajan, Rome became a forge of culture and military art. Rome rose above the world with its slender architecture and engineering feats. Aqueducts and roads such as the Appian Way became symbols of practicality and organization. The Colosseum and Pantheon grew into landmark architectural monuments. Ancient Rome became a site for the fusion of different cultures. Greek ideas and customs were integrated into Roman culture, creating a unique blend. Literature, philosophy, and art in Rome became a reflection of its rich history and deep roots. With majestic columns and stone roads, the Roman Empire stood like a great tree, but even the mightiest structures carry the seeds of their decline. In the 4th and 5th centuries AD, Rome faced a series of crises that led to colossal changes in human history. Dependence on the slave system and expansionist policies created a disequilibrium that collapsed like a picture card on the table. Internal conflicts, schisms, and threats on external borders caused the empire to fragment into West and East. Invasions by barbarians, Huns, Vandals, Visigoths, and others became an insurmountable challenge to the Roman Empire. The Huns, led by Attila, rolled like a storm, destroying everything in their path. Rome, which had once considered itself a wall of peace, found itself on its knees before new forces devoured it with a hunger for conquest. In 476 AD, ancient Rome, which had become a shadow of its former greatness, officially fell before Odoacer, the barbarian leader. This symbolic moment is considered the end of the Western Roman Empire. The fall of Western Rome, being a historical event, emphasized the end of an era and the beginning of a period known as the Age of Darkness. However, the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantium, continued to exist for many centuries after this event. At that time, Various civilizations, such as the Gupta Empire, were flourishing in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. 
During this period, India remained relatively isolated from Roman influence, but trade links existed through the Silk Road. China was ruled by various dynasties, such as the Han and Han East. China was also largely independent of Roman influence, but cultural and trade ties with the West through the Silk Road proved to be significant. The trade route known as the Silk Road connected East and West, stretching from China through Central Asia to the Mediterranean. This route facilitated the exchange of goods, culture and technology between different regions. Amidst the ruins and waning lights of antiquity, Europe was transformed in the 11th and 17th centuries, rising like a phoenix into the era known as the Renaissance. It was an era when ideas, art and science came to life anew, creating a powerful flow of renewed knowledge and cultural recreation. At the center of the Renaissance was humanism, an ideology that extolled human dignity, creativity and intelligence. Scientists and artists recovered lost texts from ancient authors such as Homer, Plato and Vitruvius, enriching their minds with knowledge of ancient wisdom. From the 17th to the 19th centuries, humanity experienced the transformation of the Age of Enlightenment. The Age of Enlightenment ushered in a scientific revolution where the minds of scientists dared to go beyond traditional beliefs. The works of Kepler, Galileo and Newton exploded previous ideas about the cosmos and physics, building the foundation for a new understanding of the world around us. The great philosophers of the era, such as Descartes, Locke, Voltaire and Rousseau, promoted reason and rational thought. Their ideas about equality, freedom and human rights soared like torches in the night, lighting the way to a more just society. From the middle of the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution began, radically changing the economic and social picture. The use of machines and steam power in production led to increased productivity and the emergence of new industrial sectors. Cities flourished, becoming centers of industrial activity. Inventions and technological advances became engines of change. From James Watt's steam engines to weaving looms and railroads, the technologies of the era opened up new possibilities and shaped the future of the industrialized world. At the beginning of the 20th century, humanity faced a test that changed the course of history and left an indelible imprint on the world map, the First World War, 1914 to 1918. The causes of World War I are closely related to the dynamics of European powers and their foreign policies. Nationalism, militarism and the military alliance system created an extremely tense environment. The assassination of Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo in 1914 was the spark that set off the gunpowder explosion. World War I brought radical changes to the art of warfare. Weapons of mass destruction, such as chemical weapons and tanks, were used in battle for the first time. Trenches became the symbol of this war, where soldiers fought desperate battles for every inch of ground under hellish fighting conditions. World War I quickly became a global conflict. New communication and transportation technologies allowed countries as far away as Europe to join the war effort. The British Empire, France, Russia, Germany, Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire were all drawn into the whirlwind of war, affecting nearly every corner of the planet. In 1939, Germany's invasion of Poland was the spark that ignited the Second World Confrontation, which spread to virtually every corner of the globe and brought profound changes to world history. From 1939 to 1945, humanity once again faced a massive crisis that had a huge impact on politics, economics and culture. World War II was the result of a complex interplay of political, economic and social factors. The aggressive expansion of Nazi Germany, the Japanese invasion of Asia and Italy's quest for empire set off a chain reaction of events. World War II 
brought profound changes in the geopolitical structure of the world. The United Nations, UN, was created to prevent future conflicts and promote world cooperation. The world map was redrawn and many colonial empires collapsed, giving rise to the process of decolonization. After the end of World War II, the world found itself divided into two ideological camps. The Eastern Camp, represented by the Soviet Union, and the Western Camp, led by the United States. The second half of the 20th century witnessed a technological explosion that transformed society. The introduction of computers, the internet, and mobile technologies changed not only the ways of communication, but also the ways of working, learning, and entertainment. Globalization has become a key factor in the modern world, bringing economies, cultures, and people closer together. The growth of technology and industrialization has left its mark on the planet's ecology. The problems of climate change, exhaustion of natural resources, and environmental pollution require urgent solutions. Sustainable development and care for the ecosystem are becoming important aspects of today's global society. Modernity is also characterized by a commitment to respect for human rights and recognition of diversity, civil rights movements, women's equality, and the protection of minority rights play an important role in shaping a society where every citizen has the right to freedom and justice.